At times, we all feel lost in search of something more. This is Christina Dam, and this is the Liberate the Podcast, a podcast designed to help inspire and guide you forward through everything spirituality, creativity, art, and just giving you a sense of empowerment so that you can be powerful, be magical, and be free. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Liberate the Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about using numerology to find balance in your life and what is the purpose of life. I mean, these are kind of huge questions. And to answer them, we have our guest today, Krishna Karmargo, and he is an author, a lecturer, a natural path. He's also a minister. He does a lot of stuff, but he specializes in numerology. We're going to dive into that and see where it goes. So welcome, Krishna. Well, thank you. I'm very happy to be a part of it. And uh, I was uh, in a delivery a few weeks ago and I saw the place and it's the environment. It's amazing. And now I'm really glad that we can have this opportunity to to talk about different topics, like you say. And big topics. I mean, balance in life and the purpose of life. I mean, these are huge things. So let's get right into it. Yeah, well, (laughs) like you say, I mean, there's always been uh, questions about our life and where are we going to be in the next uh, step or where uh, where is the path that we're coming from? And, you know, like usually these ideas, we can like release a lot of information about it. And there's like religion and spiritual paths and, and other organizations that brings a lot of information about but the main purpose of life is to find yourself it doesn't matter if you're doing something special or if you're not or if you're traveling or married or getting some job or whatever but the the inner um, self is looking always to feel that connection with the universe And we sometimes try to explain a lot of things, a lot of situations with our thoughts and our mind. And really the the goal, the final goal would be just to release the mind and just to be. And when you are uh, like um, connecting with that energy, you start to feel more in tune with everything. So numerology, as astrology or other topics can help you to at least realize what are the um, tools that your body has uh, in this world, in this transition, and that you can use for getting along better with everything that is going around and just to feel more relaxed in this transition, in this uh, final step of just liberating. Mm, I love that. And, and, the simplicity of finding yourself, because I mean, I think that's in every great teacher and every, you know, even, even the people that share their life wisdom at the end of their life. And they say, you know, the whole journey was just to get back to where they were, you know, it's like you go on these, you know, like the alchemist or these other like journeys. It's like you can travel all this ways just to get right back to where you were. Exactly. It's um, it's an inter- interesting uh, situation because usually we're looking for a lot of things outside. You know, we we want to share things with people. We want to travel. We want to earn money and, you know, like fulfill our uh, our needs. And uh, at the end, when we do that, we just go back and, and realize that all of that is just a path that you are traveling, what we are traveling. And then we get along with a lot of experience, but the main point is realizing that that's only the transition. And if we don't get attached to those situations and Mm -hmm. those uh, persons and things that we have, well, we'll be more uh, happy, we'll be more loving, and we will start to getting in tune with that uh, inner energy that we have. So uh, numerology, for instance, can give you that information and the information will help you. But there's a tool and like any other tool, you just need to use it. 
learn how to use it. The thing is that usually when we have a knowledge about some things, we don't want a lot <laughs> to, to go in with that because uh, we, we start to see that if we have this information, we need to be more responsible with those things that we're doing. So yeah. um, that's consciousness, part of consciousness. And what got you into even studying, studying the tool of numerology? Well, if, uh, if I can share this, it's uh, interesting. When I was eight years old, my father uh, sit me next to him and he, he brought a book and he started to read in some numbers for me. And I was like, what is this that you're doing, right? And then uh, I thought, well, he knows me already. So that's why he's saying these things to me, you know? But then he, my father is a doctor and uh, I was like uh, sitting next to him one time time uh, in, in the future and he was with a patient and the patient was starting to speak about his life and the situations he was getting divorced so he was like getting into some difficulties and he started to to share things with this numerology chart so uh, when I saw that and this person was like amazed because of the words that he was saying I just went into that book again and I started like reading more and, and sharing with my father. And then I, I studied like more professional way uh, in the future. And it become one part of my life. I, I think it's very important to know at least that we are numbers at the end, you know? We have a, a passport and there's a number. Our ID, it's a number, we have mobile phone number. And you know, if we can resume everything around us, our numbers. And mm -hmm. uh, it's very interesting to understand that sometimes the numbers are talking to us. And if we get in tune with that energy, we will uh, have more information about what to do, why is this happening to me? And what are the things that we can learn from the experiences that we're having and not just complain about the things that we have? Yeah. And I mean, I think that that's a good way of looking at it for people that might be a little... They don't know much about numerology or they say, oh, well, how can numbers be anything or tell me anything, right? They, you know, it's numbers. But when you break down everything, if you look at, on, you know, a scientific level of just even structures and molecules, molecules and the way the geometric shapes or the 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 sequences that are in flowers and stuff, everything's a mathematic ratio, Right. Yes. And so the there's end. there's a ratio to be said, even the spacing between the planets and the spacing between the stars. Right. There's this mathematic, very specific ratio that goes on in everything in our universe. Exactly. And so if that's the case, then it makes sense on some fundamental level that if we can be deciphered down into also numbers, that there could be some kind of correlation. And then the more that we get into the land and the world of computers, you know, all code is this ones and zeros, right? You know, so it's like, and then how, <laughs> how many zeros go between, how many ones go in the space in between, but it all gets deciphered down to that. And so why wouldn't we be like that? That's why we could create something like that. It came out of our consciousness because maybe on some level that is the fundamental level of the fabric of who we are. Right. Exactly. Like you say, I mean, the world is uh, a mathematic place. You know, we have this connection with uh, geometry, mathematics, and, and we connect with our tools um, like emotions and thoughts, feelings, and we go and express them. But always it will uh, get a code and the mm -hmm. other person would understand that code inside. So uh, the Vedic um, uh, knowledge talk about uh, numerology, the Chinese talk about this, and Pythagoras, when he was like uh, teaching all his mathematics uh, knowledge, he started to learn more about this. And uh, he brought like the new numerology uh, information. And uh, it's like the modern numerology come from him. And he, he just look around of uh, all the students and start to see the, the um, different uh, characteristics 
that mm-hmm. they had right so some of them were very joyful some of them were very stressed and and he started to learn more about their dates and how we can connect with that so with just your date you can find out five different tools that can help you through the situations that you're living and usually to understand more yourself and how you get sometimes with some kind of mood and then you just see uh, attract people that had some information too and and they just push you or whatever you know like things that happen to you when you are like learning this you start to see in, in a deeper way and that can help you to understand more the life that you're having Okay. And so understanding, and it does this in, in different functions from what I, I, I only know such a little bit, you're the expert here. So, you know, I know that there's like your personal life year cycle, and then there's like the, the, the bigger cycle of like, what is like the countries going through or your state or whatnot. And like, you can organize it down um, by that, but then there can even be Right in in the in in a foundation like the days and different things like that is that correct? Yes. Well, we have a uh, like I say uh, first like the simple way to go in in numerology is just to learn that in our date you, our birthday we have uh, five numbers and that's mm-hmm. the essence which means the things that we hide usually like the essence of your soul that is brought to this body. The second part is the personality. So it's the things that we want to share, how we okay. dress, how we talk, how we act, you know, everything that we want just to share to the people. Then the third part is um, the gift that we have when we like, uh, I don't know if, if you saw this um, last uh, movie called Sold. Which is oh, I haven't seen it yet. The cartoon one. Yeah, the cartoon one. I need to see it. Yeah, see it because there's a part when uh, the little souls are uh, looking for different jobs to do in the life. You know, they are going to revert, so they are looking like, oh, I would like to have a sports, or I would like to just ride or whatever. So they are like looking for this. So these are our gifts. When we, before we, we rebirth, we had this uh, opportunity to choose what we wanted to learn more. So mm. when I saw that movie and I, I, I knew about numerology, I was like, really? Somebody <laughs> learned something about this and put it in there, right? So it was interesting for me to, to see that. And then the fourth part is the karmic, meaning the past life. Okay. What did uh, you... Uh, fulfilled in their past life and then at the end we we find out our mission which means the things that that we need to fulfill in this time so we can continue evolving so um that's like uh the the like the simple way to go into that then okay so with with your birthday you can discover all of these five different ways by calculating the numbers and and in getting what the numbers kind of go down to, right? Yeah, exactly. Something like that. But there's different equations for each one of these different um, understandings of the self, for use yes. of a better term. Yeah. If you want, uh, we can um, we can uh, go through this, uh, like with your date, if you want. Okay, uh, and then maybe somebody that's listening, they can go through it and then, you know, whatnot. Exactly, exactly. So if you want, uh, let me um, share with me your birthday, starting with the day, not the with day? the month. Yes. The, the day first. See, that's interesting. Like, yeah. people, you know, because I think most people would start with the month first and not that. So I would just learn something. So it's the 12th. 12th. And then the month? Uh, 10. 10. It's October, right? Mm-hmm. And then the year. 1984. Okay, 1984. Okay, so I will start with the essence, remembering okay. that it's the part that you have behind, behind and that's uh, come from a 12, which is a, th- a three. Okay. You always plus the numbers in this first equation. There's another okay. equations when you um, rest the numbers, okay? So okay. Um, this one will be third three, and for you, like the essence, it means that you're a person that always want to share, you're creative, you have a lot of intuition, you have a lot of ideas, 
because the number three, uh, number three is always connecting with uh, this trinity, you know, the energy, the, the mm -hmm. mind, spirit, and soul, and, and the body. And in that uh, situation, it's always like you are like very expressing yourself a lot and explaining everything that you want. You love to talk. You love to uh, argue also and have a lot of <laughs> ideas. <laughs> and in the opposite side, because every number has two Two faces, two sides of it. yeah, two sides. So um, there's a lot of drama. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a lot of situations that you get involved into, or you attract people with drama, or sometimes you get into drama, or you just exaggerate everything. So this tree is a perfect communication uh, person, right? So for instance, you, uh, I think you most of the time you like to share things. You speak very fluid with your life or or you can explain things very easily. And people sometimes get in tune with that. But uh, also the dramatic part is is part of it. It's, it's, yeah. it's, thing, it's, a, it's a step that you need to work more because there's always uh, something that you need to learn. So the challenges for you is like um, uh, these new projects all the time. And uh, when you're getting into that, sometimes you get and, and try to step back a little a bit and just see, oh, if I'm doing right this or not. And you sometimes doubt about yourself with that energy because mm -hmm. that's the essence. And, and always this tree is uh, looking forward to put the ideas and bring more people with those ideas. So you okay. want to get together with more people and yeah, let's do this and all the excitement and energy. So you're like an artist. That's the name for, for this number. So oh, awesome. <laughs> is that correct sometime? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's correct. And so there's, does it go from the, you know, uh, tie in for other people too while you're doing mine? So it goes yes. from, from one to 10 or from one to nine or how does it's, it go? It goes from one till nine. And then um, the number 10 or the, the zero, that means that you can have all of them or none of them. Okay. So it's like um, we, we could say that it that it's um, a position that it can bring more energy from other numbers or will not bring energy. Okay. So and maybe settled. not, not in as much detail, but you know how you chunked it down to an artist at number three, is there like one word or two words for each number yes. that you could describe? So Perfect. what's a number one? Number one will be a leadership okay. and, and also a person that just uh, push the other persons down in the okay. opposite. So in okay. one position is great. And the other one just put it it's down. It's lowers people. And yeah, what about number people. two? Number two will be a person that one company all the time that it, it's like uh, putting together energy, the best couple. And also it will, in the opposite side, is attached to everything. So okay. it, it brings a lot of attachment and doubts. Okay. And so number, number three, three, we already talked, is the artist. Yes. The and what's the reverse be... of the artist real quick, just in case? Oh, dramatic. Dramatic. So artist with dramatic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Number four will be a person with intelligence and order. And in the opposite side, no flexibility. So okay. it's just like a person that is very tied with themselves. Okay. <laughs> Number okay. fifth will be a person that is liberate with a lot of energy, with a lot of movement, with a lot of changing all the time. And the opposite side is a person that get involved into very dense energy, like uh, drugs, sexual, sexuality, and uh, okay. things like very low, you know, like pulling back to these addictions, we can say. Okay. And then in number six will be the person that is with the family. That's the, the positive. He's always willing to take care of others. And mm -hmm. in the opposite side is a person that never feel that is uh, in tune with other people. You know, mm -hmm. like don't get along with anybody. So feel very lonely with this. And number seven, we'll go with number seven. The person, it's, um, it's also a person that has a lot of connection with the spirituality. So we can say it's a more spiritual number. And then 
In the opposite side, it's a person that just wants to go alone and is mm-hmm. very selfish. Okay. Yeah. And then we have the eight number, which in the good position will be the, the best connection with a spiritual and material world. So it's a person that is in balance between those two. And in the other side is a person that just with material things, just um, release everything and never get established um, in or settle in a, in a good way. Okay. And finally, number nine, it's a person that is connecting to serve others. There's always willing to give. And in the negative side, it's a person that just don't want to share anything. And it's like uh, just um, very angry about life and and controlling things and just like um, a manipulator person. Mm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then we did the number 10 is or the zero. It's all of it. Zero could be all of it or it could be none of that. Okay. That depends a lot of the reading because we will uh, see that in the uh, karmic number. So depending uh-huh. on the karmic, we will see how the things work for this person, particular person. So we can see if that uh, in the past life, it fulfilled the things that it, they needed to do or they just push it back. And which number are you? You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Press that little button, the red one, you know, the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Well, uh, well, all the numbers, we, we are different numbers. But, no, no, uh, which way, but what are you? Like I say, we have different numbers. My mission number is no, the No, the one number. that we're doing now, the first one. Ah, the first one. I'm, I'm also, I'm two. You're two? Yes, I'm two. I'm 11 of December. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, we, we had some common numbers here. I, I, I was reading it and, and I find out about the third. I also have third uh, number and <laughs> this number one also. So, and you have 12, uh, 212, which means uh, two, three numbers in your chart. And that's a lot of drama and a lot of energy, a lot of creative in your side. <laughs> oh, so I have three, three, uh, uh, three threes in my chart? So you let's have... go through the next ones. <laughs> yeah, you want to to hear the other ones? That, yeah, that might as well have? hear them. Like you know. Yeah, perfect. Well, the next number that is your personality—that's number one for you, and you are like very a strong person. I think people around you just see you, and they just go back sometimes, and you can mm-hmm. talk easily, and you control around yourself and other persons. You're a leader, natural leader. So you have this energy and you need to just to take care more um, humbleness to don't push a lot of people because sometimes you have the ideas already. Since you have a, a lot of knowledge in your mind, you want to to do the things like very fast and people <laughs> is just like around, you know, wait, I can go forward with you, you know. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it's like that. And then there's uh, your number, the, the number the gift number is connecting with your essence because okay. that well, that that came from the 84 and 84 if you plus 8 and 4 will be 12 and mm-hmm. also is repeating with your your birth day so um that will bring another 3 and that increase the energy when you have in your chart two uh, same numbers the energy just go up, up, up. So you all the uh, time are creating. You you have a like a creative mind all the time. It but never it, shuts up. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you want to meditate and then boom, ideas and ideas. And I want to do this and I want to do that. And I can share this. And you're always trying to share it. and um in a, a very artistic way. And then in, in that position, you have a four. That, that's very interesting because the four is your past life or your karmic life. Okay. And the four will mean a person that has a lot of intelligence and a structure. So that means that in this life, or you are struggling, I, I'm not sure, with organizing things, you know, ordering just, things. Just a little bit. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> so, I think anybody so at like, Liberate that, that works for me would say that I'm like, they like to describe me as Willy Wonka, that they're just picking up, like, I'm just, I kind of create tornadoes where I go, like, the, the, the no organization. <laughs> <laughs> really? So it's because of that, you know, it's the karmic energy that is brought from past life. And now it's like trying to tell you, settle, st stop here a little bit and try to organize everything. So start from the beginning at the end and do everything yourself and then go to the next step. <laughs> so hard for me. <laughs> yeah, I bet, because you have a lot of energy just to move around, you know? Yeah, so then bump, 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 and then I've never, you know. <laughs> you just never end with that, right? And <laughs> then uh, it's very, very interesting because you see, you have an eight number for your mission. And that eight number, like I say, is like the infinite number. And that mm -hmm. will mean that you have a lot of intuition and connecting with the spiritual path, but also you have the ideas to bring that in the material world. Mm -hmm. So the money thing, the abundance in your life can be balanced as you connect more with this spiritual energy. Otherwise, you just move around all the time. And, and sometimes you bring a lot of energy, like abundance, material energy and then just go flow and disappear away and you're like what i had this money where is it you know things like that <laughs> so your mission in this life will be just to uh try to organize more like i say you know because eight if you plus four and four will be eight right so you had to organize more the things that you really want and keep in balance all the ideas that you have and just to brought the ideas that you think that will bring more abundance to your life. Because sometimes you bring a lot of ideas and they just bring you drama. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> so true. For those that are listening, that like this is our first time meeting. So, you know, this is this is amazing. I mean, one of the things that I can get out of this that I hope for those that are listening, they can calculate and figure out some of their numbers and see where this is for them. But, um, and, and, you know, re-reference and rewind and go back to look at each of the different uh, numbers uh, again and what the meanings are, but it's, it's so on point, right? It, you, you know, it's, it's almost like you're telling me more intimate things about me and my blocks and my problems and well as well as my gifts then most people don't know right and <laughs> and this is our first meeting so yeah. but now how do you use this to achieve balance in your life because that's one of the topics so okay so now i have this understanding that I'm always creating and, and I'm also very susceptible to drama with the creating and I'm sure those people that know me are probably laughing <laughs> and then, uh, you know, that I can materialize and that it has to be balanced with spiritual. And when it's not, money just goes, you know, like, and <laughs> that happens. And then the leadership one that you said that I can be a really strong leader, but then also can have the tendency to sometimes put people down. So, I mean, all of these things are really clear understandings. But then how do I achieve balance with that knowledge like how do you take it from just knowing this knowledge and then and then taking this as information to make it a tool to help empower you to to embedder your life yes well like um like all the knowledge that we can learn from this is information that we just um will have more conscious in our mind so mm -hmm. for the next situation that we will have you know uh, for instance now that you're like learning this and you are like thinking more about this and you have it in your mind already and uh next time that you receive money you will see oh okay i have the money now oh i remember that i i figured out about this okay what i could do you know just to start developing your intuition that's what um the numerology do like give you the information but then you start to develop the intuition that will uh, bring to you more fulfilled experiences about some things that are happening because okay. um it, it, it will not work if you just have the idea of oh i'm dramatic and that's the way i am and that's mm -hmm. it you know but when you say, oh, I'm dramatic, and now I'm uh, having an episode of dramatic energy, 
oh, I remember that. So I it's my choice now. I can choose yeah. to go with that or I can stop it and just to see why is happening this to me and, and mm-hmm. go to the opposite. So um, it's very interesting and it's a challenge, obviously, like, uh, for instance, for me and like the relationships that I have and, and all the environment that I'm around, sometimes I, I read this together and see, well, we will get along with this, but then we will have issues in this, you know, so <laughs> we already know and we don't get into the emotions. So balancing your life is always like a, a, a challenge and uh, like I always say, we can't like balance everything because mm-hmm. trying to balance everything will be getting control. And, you know, when we want to have control, we suffer because yeah. the controlling part is not possible. We need to let the universe move around the energy. So balancing the energy or balancing yourself and your life will mean just to flow more conscious with the situations and be like very intelligent to know what to do, how to act and how to relate with the universe. So it's kind of to like simplify it a little bit. It's understanding and preparing in a way for like, if you know that it's going to be a rainstorm out, (laughs) you may want to bring an umbrella. But to try to control it so much that not a drop of water is going to get on you would create the misery. But if you can allow yourself to prepare and say, okay, well, this is this is what I'm swimming and this is the energy of what is my vibration. And so I can prepare a little bit for it and understand it. But then I also have to trust that with the umbrella, my take out 90% of the water, but I might still get wet. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. I love the example that you did. Thank you for sharing that because it's it's just like that, you know, and and it's very uh, interesting that we can have the opportunity to learn about ourselves and also why we attract people around us with some energy that it's always pushing us to, to change, to Mm. improve, to be better in our life. And sometimes they are not the best situations, obviously, but even so they are at the end looking for you to evolve. So um, I think that's the most important of this uh, knowledge of numerology. Otherwise you just want always to control things. That's why uh, we learn things, you know, we learn to to develop uh, an idea and then we learn to play a instrument and we just want to have control of things. Yeah. But uh, at the end, if we try to control, we suffer. So we just need to learn things and let the intuition, intuition guide you to just enjoy yeah. the process. Because you'll never be able to plan or control everything the way that you want it, right? You know, <laughs> never, never, I like to give never. that to, pe- to people. It's like, I don't think, you know, one of the things that people plan for their most in their life is like a wedding, right? Yeah. Does it ever go with some, sometimes people will plan for a whole year for a wedding, That's you know, true. and so much detail, so much planning, so much goes in. And there's always something that goes crazy, right? And and it's like, but if you were so attached that it had to go the way that you envisioned in your mind, you would never be happy because your expectation will never be met, right? That's true. But you can you can still have plans to aim you in the right direction. I mean, if you don't plan to get a photographer, you're never going to have pictures, you know. Like, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is true. It, it's very interesting. I, I love the the. Uh, the topic that you're ta- the telling now, because if I, I may say I'm a minister. So last week I was uh, in a wedding and it happened just the thing that you say. The, 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 the person, the girl was like very excited about this uh, wedding and the husband was like just relaxed about it. But she was planning this from one year and a half ago, oh, right? So I mean, more than a year, yeah, a year and a half. One year and a half. No, no, just one year, like you say, but <laughs> imagine that. So she was like trying to put together everything, everything. And uh, at the end, we 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 start the wedding. And then it was like sunny day, perfect weather. It was just beautiful. And then suddenly, like, the 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 uh, the clouds start coming out, no rain, 
but it started to get chill, like so cold. So people were start like shaking because we were inside of a forest. Imagine that. It's so oh. no light in between. And then the dog, they wanted to have the dog in the wedding, bringing the, the rings, you know? <laughs> so, so the dog start to like yell, rah, 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 you know? So it was like a crazy moment. And she was like getting into this angry energy because she wasn't getting out of control of that. And I remember that we just, um, uh, uh, her, her husband and I just saw her and say, relax, everything is going to be okay. And she was like, okay, okay. She started crying in the middle yeah. of the wedding. And then af- at the end, she was like, just breathe a little bit. And then the clouds go away and start again. The sun came and it was like a situation that happened just suddenly. But it, like you say, we usually want to control all the things that are happening. And sometimes we just need to to laugh about the things that are happening because yeah. if we don't laugh about it, we just get too attached. Well, we get too attached and then we also don't leave room for the magic or, you know, in our narrow perceptions from our narrow experiences, we can only plan a certain way. Yes. But how do we know there's not something better or that there's a valuable lesson to learn from that that's going to allow us to move forward right you know yeah yeah that's true and um i think uh, um, usually when we have this uh, connection with intuition we can start seeing more clear all the situations that we live right i love it i love <laughs> it i love it i love it and so when people People use like numerology and they get a better understanding of their self. And I, I'm tying this back to one of the first statements that you said in this podcast is that you said, you know, it's really about getting back in touch with you, right? You know, it's like going on all of the searching outwards just to find yourself inward, right? And mm-hmm. and allow the that evolution to exist. And so this is almost like a mirror reflecting back to you and helping you see yourself better so that you can be yourself and so you, that you can find yourself faster and allow for even more to be learned from that perspective, right? Yes, uh, like um, like you say in a simple way, it's just a mirror. When we see ourselves there, we start to develop in more ideas and then we start to attract different energies in our environment. That's very Mm -hmm. important about this numerology. When you realize that, it's like you put in some energy in your thoughts, the brain starts through the cells, bringing some vibration, different vibration, and that will express to the universe, to your universe. And that will start to attract more energy in the similar level that you are now. Otherwise, it's like, uh, for instance, if we are complaining a lot about something, usually we get a lot of that more. And we're like, why? Yeah, I don't like this. And why is happening to me? And then come more and more and more. And you're like, I'm I'm just in this hole, you know. But um, the thing is um, that you can uh, change that energy and change that vibration and bring more uh, tune energy with you and the mm-hmm. things that you really want. So you start to attract different experiences that have more of lifting that uh, in the other time, you know, because you weren't conscious about this information. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to share before we wrap up today? Yes, well, I will uh, love to share that always uh, try to go into the knowledge about numerology or whatever path you're choosing to to understand more about yourself but don't get attached to it you know i've been I love like that. Yeah, i've been like um uh i i grew up with a spiritual environment you know so since mm-hmm. i was a little kid i saw yoga and meditation and a lot of topics and readings and then uh, when I grow up and I start like relating with more people, I thought uh, that life was just a spirituality because my in home we were talking about this all the time, right? But then yeah. I realized it's not. And I see the balance in that. 
And, and that was nice because you could see that there's two points of view always. And, and when we get attached to something, even in this spiritual knowledge, we just forget that we're living also and we have emotions and needs that we need to have in this world to, to evolve. So, um, yeah, the, the, the final idea is just to remember that and that everything that you do, put your intuition in front always and try at least every day to connect with your intuition. You just need to take a few minutes to just see yourself, see how was your life uh, during the day, how do you act, if you had a conflict or not, how, how the words are we using usually, and uh, to, to see in a clear way and an attached way how you are. And in mm. that uh, situation, you just feel more relaxed and go to bed, relax and enjoy the time that you're sleeping, not trying to remember what you need to do tomorrow and why complaining you didn't do uh, other things in the past. Just be, well, in the present with present. the energy to see the future, right? Yeah, because it's always going to be in the future. You can always think about it. You just got to be. I love that. Yes. Where can people find you, Krishna? Well, uh, they can go online and then there's a page that is uh, www.krishnakamargo.com. Okay. And then through that, uh, the social media and uh, all this um, um, web, you can uh, see the things that I, I like to share. And yeah, we can talk there. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> we'll link everything down below for you. For you and... Yeah, I hope that people can connect and, you know, maybe get get into their numerology with you and some of the, all the other things that you you do and you provide on a naturopathic. And if, hey, if somebody wants to get married too, you can provide oh, that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's I love those. Uh, if you can uh, have a minute for this, because when people are getting married. They are just like always wondering, oh, how are we going to get along, right? And when I do the numerology for a couple, they just go, oh, now I'm, I know why is like this, this guy or this person, you know? So it's a very important tool for, for couples to understand more themselves. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It was really insightful. I learned a lot more about myself and had that mirror shine on and everybody that's watching now learned a lot more about me. And hopefully they will take uh, the initiative to learn a little bit more about their self too. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And I hope I can see you in person sometime pretty soon. Yes, absolutely. Next time you're visiting for sure. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this conversation, please like it, subscribe and share it with your friends. If you want to hear more about what we have going on and happening online or in, in the neighborhood, check out liberateyourself.com and sign up for our mailing list. Uh, also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Liberate Yourself. It's you are self, you are S-E-L-F. Until next time, be powerful, be magical, and be free. Okay, well, uh, my name is Rebecca. Hi, I'm Reverend Doreen. Hi, my name is Travis. My name is Kimberly. My name is Lily, and I'm an energy healer at Liberate Hollywood. I really believe that everything is transmutable and everything is possible. I believe that we are swimming in a sea of energy and um, that this energy is love, even though I know a lot of the time it doesn't always feel like that. And I do pranic healing, which is energy. I'm a Reiki master, more energy. So what am I? I am a channel for energy to come through me to help you. There really isn't anything that you would need to do to prepare for a session other than be comfortable. The whole goal of the session is to provide you with a warm, comforting, soul and heart centered environment from which to allow healing to occur. No, no, just come as you are. Always just come as you are. Uh, that's my job as a healer to meet you where you are, to figure out what you need. Um, and to give that to you or to guide you also. Um, I'm so honored to be a guide in helping you to connect. To help re-energize you, heal you, change your programming so that you're no longer in your way of getting to the things that you desire in your life. My objective working with clients, I guess, would be to help them connect to their divine self. 
uh, so that they can facilitate their spiritual journey and their soul's path. In all forms of energy healing, regardless of what the practitioner says, it is up to the client to change their life. As a practitioner, we're serving as a channel or as, a, as an instrument for God to do the work, but it is up to the client to, to make better choices. I'm most passionate, I think, about being able to create a loving, supportive, and heart and soul-centered environment for clients to heal. I get really excited when I ha ex have a new client who's never experienced energy work before, and they tend to say that they were drawn or magnetized into the store, and they don't exactly know why or what for. And it's a it's an opportunity to introduce them to the divine. And I think it's a really beautiful thing to have that moment of awareness and that they're in that space of surrender because they don't have any expectations. And they really get to see what it feels like to be a spiritual being. And once you activate that place within yourself, uh, it's powerful and it feels so good. It's very healthy for the body. I think it realigns all of your energy. Um, it connects you to source, uh, both within you and outside of you. It's really cool. It's such an honor and a privilege to be in the space where a moment happens and people have this awareness about who they are or they're able to grieve over something they may not have been able to before or they are able to see themselves for who they truly are in a more empowered and soul-centered way. But I'm trying to give you the tools so that when you leave, you feel, you feel connected. Come with an open mind, come with um, humor in your heart, and, and we'll get you on the right path for you. You'll learn more about yourself, you'll let go of things that might be holding you back in your life, and you'll feel more empowered about your decisions. I hope to see you soon. So, expect change. Radical change. <laughs> I laugh, but it's true. <laughs> Thank you, and I wish you love, peace, and higher consciousness.